Now we're going to talk about creating space to get our shot up. And the move that I like to use the most is the step back. First step back, the fundamental step back where I'm attacking with either hand, planting on my top foot, creating space into my shot. It's a couple things I want us to focus on. Number one, I always want our eyes on the rim. Okay, number two, it's very important that when you do your step back that you don't push off, don't extend your arm. When I'm attacking, I might drop my shoulder a little bit, bump with my body, but I cannot extend my arm. Okay, and lastly, because right now we're working on going into our shot. We're working on picking the ball up. I want to work on that. When I plant and step back, that I'm getting my feet squared up in the proper position. So a quick recap on our basic step back is that make sure that when you're attacking hard, you plant on your top foot and you try and cover as much ground as possible. And if you notice on my shot, when I plant and step back, I square up and then my footwork is right left into my shot. Now one other thing I want to talk about is on that shot I faded a little bit. Now some coaches say you have to go straight up and down after your step back and all these things. In my opinion, I don't personally believe that, especially if you're a smaller player. You have to be able to attack deep into the defense, step back, and sometimes you do have to fade a little bit to get that shot up and over the defense. Now the second step back that I'm going to talk about is what I call the pullback. Now a couple of focus points on the pullback. Number one, when I'm attacking, I'm going to plant with my top foot. If it's my right hand, it's going to be my right foot. Now I want to make sure that I'm not too far forward or it's going to be very hard to get enough power on this leg to jump back. I want to make sure that I'm in a balanced position, okay? So I'm balanced and when I pull it back, it's a hop. Now sometimes when you do your pullback, it might just be pullback shot. But what I want to work on today is that when I pull back, I hop back and cover ground at the same time. Okay, so the last step back that we're going to work on is what I call the hard pound step back. A couple things I want you to focus on with this is one, your hard pound through your legs like you're going to attack, you really have to excel that you're going to go. And two, that when you pick it up and you pull it over that you're covering ground laterally. Now those are all our step backs that we're going to work on today. I'm quickly now going to show you some live shots of me starting with my other hand, my left hand. Okay, now that we're finished our series on our step back, there's a couple things I want to remind everyone of. Number one, the most important thing with your step back is, is I'm selling that I'm attacking you hard, trying to drive you back on your heels, and then stepping back to create space. Number two, this is with a couple of step backs in particular. When you're go if you're a right-handed shooter and you're going to your right and you step back, make sure that you square your body up. So a lot of times when you go to your right as a right-handed shooter, it's a little bit harder to square your body up. So make sure you really emphasize that when you're practicing this. Uh, secondly, when I'm doing my hard pound step back, starting with it in my right hand, if I'm a right-handed shooter, it's the same thing. Make sure that when you come back that you get squared up to the hoop, because it's a little bit harder when you're a right-handed shooter going to your right.